Welcome back, everybody. We bought a 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander, and today I'm going to install a hitch and wire it up. I'm going to divide this series into two parts. First is actually installing the hitch, that's going to be the easy part. And the second part is going to be wiring up the hitch. The factory wanted $600 for the hitch. I managed to buy it for 200 and change, and then the wire harness was added to the cost. So I bought this online. We got a eTrailer.com box. This is basically how it came. I opened the top, but I decided to start filming before I get any further. You can see how uh, the hitch poked through the bottom here. And on the sides, it punctured the sides of the box. That's how it arrived. Looks like we need to improve the packaging on this. But inside the box, we have a wiring harness, which we're going to do on part two, and the actual hitch. On the Mitsubishi Outlander. It's got an ace feature where all you gotta do is this. And it opens and closes for a hands free operation. So I'm sure some of you are gonna have questions. Even I have a question whether it's gonna work or not. I'm pretty sure this hitch is shaped exactly like the factory one is so I'm sure there's gonna be no problem but let's make sure anyways so wrapped up around the hitch we have all the bolts needed and instructions Kurt part number 13487. It's got a gross trailer weight of 3,500 pounds and ton weight of 525 pounds. The instructions tell me step one is to lower the exhaust by removing the three rearmost rubber holders, blah, blah, blah. We are going to skip that. I don't want to make too much work for myself. We're going to see if we can install this without. I'm sure we can do this without removing the exhaust in step one. Don't make more work for yourself. Then. Well, it looks like my neighbors across the street are having a party. Uh, they got the music playing, so I might have to mute some of this out to not get a copyright strike, unfortunately. That's the way YouTube works. Start by getting these bolts ready. In this with one hand and installing bolts with another hand. It's gonna be difficult enough. See into my eye. So uh, there's gonna be three bolt holes, one here, one here, and one here that I'm going to lift it in and uh, I'm gonna do the driver's side first because there's a little more stuff to work around. So let's try that. The way I'm gonna install this, that way it seems to be working, is by moving it to the right side of this and sliding this over. Easy enough, I got one bolt in. I'm gonna work, move to the other side. It's a bit of a tight fit on that second one. Uh, yeah, I have to admit that this hitch is a tight install. There's no extra room on this one here to wiggle. 
I had to really force that one into place. But it's fell in place. Second bolt is going in. I'm now going to put all four bolts, all six bolts in there. And grab a ratchet and tighten that down. Piece of cake. Okay, it takes a three quarter inch socket. And we're gonna tighten all six of those. Installing that third bolt on this one side is not lining up quite as easy as I thought it was going to. Okay, I got the three bolts on the one side in loosely. We're gonna get the other three in loosely. And then we're gonna start tightening it all down. You'll probably wanna do this after you've parked the vehicle for some time, cause the exhaust is right there and you'll probably burn your arm if you have a hot exhaust to work around. Okay, so all three on this side lined up much better than the three on the other side. side done that was the difficult side because the exhaust location the other side should be a little easier okay that's all done I definitely recommend not taking out the exhaust that makes more work than you need Make sure your exhaust is cool because you'll burn yourself. Let's take a look underneath here. Um, so I noticed that this is on this label it has a date code of July 5th, 2021. Uh, this seemed a little tight putting on. It wasn't unbearably tight, but it was tight enough that if you put it on there without bolts, everything would stay in place. Which I guess is not a bad thing, but just be mindful. You have to give it a good shove to put it in place. Um, so there were three bolts that secure this here, here, and uh, up there. There's the three bolts, and then again on the other side, exact same spot, only with exhaust in the way. Three bolts, uh, bolts in place nicely. Now, a big question, does the kick open feature work? Let's try that out. The kick underneath the hitch, definitely not gonna work. Kick beside the hitch, there we go. Beside the hitch works fine. And the hitch is blank, so just beside the hitch, so well, yeah, it, it diminishes your kick area, but uh, it is still a very functional, very functional piece of coolness that uh, still works. All right. All right, that was part one of this video, uh, putting on the receiver. Part two, I'm gonna wire up the receiver check up here for the link if you enjoyed the video please give it a, a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel share this video uh, comment anything below and I got a little Amazon wish list if you want to buy me something that'd be pretty cool got lots of dust all right stay tuned for part two